Hello everyone, and it's here, KSP2. I have done this recording for the third time now. So anyway, uh, here it is. My thoughts on the game is that it's very good, it's everything that I expected from it. Honestly, I do have all the reaction wheels. Yes, it's kind of uh, weird that it's so the built-in reaction wheels are so weak. But, uh, well, it's not that big of a problem. I mean, it can be negated by just putting on a couple of reaction wheels. So, you know. And anyway, we don't have any RCS on this craft, and it's an, it is just an orbital mission. But as the first mission that I have ever launched in this game, it's okay. It does the job. And there it is. We are going to be in our orbit. Sorry for that chair noise. And, uh, yeah. Sorry for the lack of content this past month, it's just uh, I have no ideas and I was just pretty much waiting for this game. So there it is, we are now uh, we are now going to get an orbit. Yes I know I could have done this uh, part of the mission, this stage, more efficiently, but I mean it's a good booster stage, it got us into higher orbit, orbit. it's going to do it. Water. And uh, there it is. Um, there's our space stage, and you might notice something about this engine. It is the old model of I forgot which engine. <laughs> or not the old model, but well, it's inspired by the old model, let's say. And just the KSP developers, if you are watching this for some reason, I don't expect you to, but if you are, then just thank you. <laughs> I mean, just thank you for giving us this nice little game. And, uh, yeah. Now we are going to go to an EVA point. And there it is. Jebediah Kerman, the first Kerbal to go on an EVA and in space. Uh, okay, now he has let go of the craft. And, uh, he, he is jetpacking. Now that I think about it, the silver um, paint job on the craft is very blinding. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and there it is. We are back. Okay. And, uh, well, we're now going to the deorbit point in our orbit. Going in a retrograde direction and increasing our throttle. And here we are. You will notice a lack of re entry effects upon, uh, well, entry but uh, I don't know why that is maybe it just came in slow maybe it's coming soon I don't know but all I know is that this game is very good I enjoyed it very much and uh, it's very cool just I like it I think it's neat <laughs> so anyway there we are saying goodbye to our orbital stage and I did not figure out how to jettison the heat shield, so we're just going to be landing with it. So that's interesting. And I love the new parachute animations. It's very cool. I am very happy with this game. There we have entered the atmosphere and no re-entry. And uh, yeah. Well, I don't have much to talk about. Oh yeah, a bunch of new people are watching my old, uh, my oldest, well not oldest, but SSTO video. The first one, with the plain one. And I, just so weird. <laughs> well not weird, but the fact that people are watching it all of a sudden, and now it's at like 19,000 views or something, it's just pretty funny. <laughs> because I put very little effort into that, I literally just recorded a mission with an accidental SSTO crap that I have made. And there the parachute has deployed and ragdoll. So it's just interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh yeah, the Kerbals don't have parachutes anymore. So, uh... That's, uh... Well, let's just say that narrows the possibility of mission success. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.